So this is an extension video of the fourth video that I made discussing all the little nicks and knacks of the 1977 Toyota Celica. Um, there are a couple of things that I forgot to mention. And so this video is, uh, is an extension of the last video um, so that I can I may include those things so that you guys are more aware of everything in terms of what's going on with the car as you know i did make a video uh filming the bottom of the car so you guys have that i did make a video talking about the engine of the car um i did uh make a video talking about the exterior and the interior of the car and uh, explaining all the features and how amazing this car is and how amazingly it's been built um, talking about again the rare the rare engine that's in there the 22 RTE um, so let's uh, without further ado let's let's get right into it so one of the things um, there are two main things that I forgot to mention in the fourth video when I was talking about the little small flaws little details um, uh, in terms of um, you know going around the body and the cosmetics and all that so one of the things that i forgot to mention is that in the back here in the rear quarter panel there is a small dent um right here behind the light and the reason why that dent is there um is because um when the car cover was on the car um my mother had backed out and she tapped the rear quarter panel with the with the rear bumper of her car um, a long time ago and none of the paint was damaged because there was a car cover on it and so the only thing that I had to replace was the rear um, blinker lights which are OEM by the way and they're brand new and I had to order these from a part uh, dealer from Spain um, they cost me about $350 for the set of these rear blinker lights, but the old ones were already worn out, So, and these were brand new, so it worked out for the better, and I changed both. I changed the left and the right side, uh, but the dent uh, remains, and it's hard to notice when you're looking at the car, as you can tell, but when you go in and you get a real closer look, you can tell that it's there. So there's that. And then the second thing I forgot to mention is that um, the headlights and the high beams work um, and the hazard lights also work. But the thing that does not work properly is the, the blinker lights. And the reason is, I think there might be a small wiring issue although i'm not exactly sure entirely so let's turn the car on and figure this out so i can show you guys got bit by a mosquito status so this is the, the headlights as you can tell work and the high beams work as well the rear tail lights work the uh the interior dashboard light is there, but it's very, very low. This is the dimmer, but it is there. Um, and then the hazard lights work, okay? But the thing that does not work properly are the left and right blinker lights. The lights do come on, but they don't flash for some reason. So I just want to throw that out there. That way you guys are more aware of what's going on with the car. So if you want to see the engine running, beautiful 22 RTE engine. There it is while it's running. Amazing engine by the way. Very hard to find. Iron block, bulletproof, just a big bundle of joy. 